Welcome back to the Gummy Juice Blanket. Today we are doing one science, science. from each Are you gonna be a super helper? Oh, no. All right, super helper, we are back. Oh, hey, what should I call you then? Should I call you Madame Curie? Who knows who that is, by the way? Do you know who Madame Curie is? No. We've learned about her. Scientist, a lady scientist. And that was cold water. Okay, so we are going to do activity five now. Wee. The fact that we skipped ahead that far? Yeah. Okay. Activity five, test tube sunset. I need one test tube. I'll even take out the base so it can stand up. All right, I'm gonna go and... Don't dump it out. I'm just gonna dump a little of the water out so it doesn't Overflow. spill everywhere while we're doing this. And here, actually I'll just leave it sitting over here. We'll work carefully around it. How's that? I, if we mess up on them, I brought okay. out all three. I need one. Uh. I don't want to get the other two dirty. Pick which one you want. Mommy, do you use? The right one. This one? Yeah. Okay, so we'll leave that one in there. One empty, clear test tube. I'm just going to hand this stuff out. Stop. I'm bored right I now. understand. I need a cross linked poly acrylic copolymer. I have a difficulty reading some big words. I am sorry. Me too. All right, let's see if we can look in this bay and figure out what that is, shall we? I think it's that little green liquid. Right here. Cross linked poly acrylic copolymer. Make Copal limer. limer. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but on here it says, do not put in mouth and keep out of reach of small people. <laughs> Wiggles, sit still and keep your shoes off of that chair. I don't want to ask you again, please. My shoes weren't even on the chair. They have the been. Was. All right, so stop. We need our baking soda again and our citric acid again. Sweetheart. Hang on, okay. Two plastic cups, which I did just go and clean. Medium plastic scoop that is still in the baking soda. Stir stick. It says stir sticks, but I'm pretty sure we might be able to get away with just one of them since this one hasn't been cleaned yet from the last experiment. We only used it, so we have this one here that we'll use for this experiment. Test tube stand and the red cabbage powder, just right here. Now, what we need to get is our water and our cling wrap, which we have. Cling wrap. Should I move this over here? Yeah. All right, she says she wants mommy to do this, and she's going to watch this one. I'm going to make you a little sunset in a test tube. What, Mom? I also get a help. Yes. I get to put in the power. Right? You shall see, okay? Just, I need you to relax first, because we have to start a step one and follow all the instructions down how they tell us to, right? Right? All right, step one. Fill two of the cups, three-fourths with, oh, uh, yeah, sorry. The word on this is weird how I'm reading it. Fill two of the cups three-fourths full with water and set them on the plate or tray. We still have our little tray. I'm guessing that a lot of these you're going to want to tray on for spillage factors. Okay, I'm going 
gonna estimate again that that's about three fourths. It might be a little less, might be a little more. We will work with it. And yes, I could go and measure exactly how much is in each cup and then get a measuring cup for that and do exactly three fourths. Or you can just kind of eyeball it. Add one medium scoop of baking soda to the first cup and stir it in. Rinse and dry the scoop and add one medium scoop of citric acid to the second cup and stir it in. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. Where's my scoopy? Scoopy. 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 Now we're gonna rip, 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 rip. Well, since we're not using it for another experiment, I'm using it for the rinse. Mm, I rinse this. No, because we're gonna need that. I'm sure for that again. So just let it be, okay? Knock off the loose powder. Okay. There's nothing in it to change the colors. This is just plain water. That'd be scary if it changed colors in just our plain water. That would mean that our water has some sort of chemical in it. What in it? Yeah, but you put the citric acid in it. Yes, citric acid will only... So that chemical reaction we had from the first experiment, that was a chemical that you would find in red cabbage reacting to the chemical that is in the makeup. Makeup? Not as in like face makeup. Makeup as in the chemical makeup of the citric acid and the chemical makeup of the red cabbage mixing together for that reaction. Same as the chemical makeup in the baking soda and the chemical makeup in the cabbage reacting to make that reaction. And then when you added the baking soda and the citric acid together along with the purple cabbage, it made the foam. <laughs> it's kind of like when you make a volcano. Vinegar, baking soda. React and become a giant foamy mess. And another thing about these kits, so like this kit here, it provides you with almost everything you need to do the experiments. Whereas the candy kit we did earlier, you need a lot more ingredients from your kitchen. But they're fun. All right, so we have the citric acid and the baking soda mixed into the water. What? We are in step three. Add one small scoop of red cabbage powder to each. So basically, if we oh, just would have kept the cups, cups separate from the first experiment, we could have already done this experiment's first couple steps. Just for fun, don't stir it in the red cabbage powder yet. Watch what happens as it mixes on its own. Okay. Then go ahead and stir it in. It'll mix on its own, okay, Mommy? Okay, so do you want to describe it to our friends? Oh, I'll read out loud. Yeah. No, do you want to describe the cups to our friends as we do this? Yes. So this one's the baking soda one. Yeah. And it's going to stir Just watch. It on its own. So what is it doing? What does it look like? What's happening it in the cup? It looks like it's snowing blue. And it looks like it's snowing red in the other end. So it's like purple on the top of the baking soda one, blue on the bottom, and the citric acid is all right, it looks like, huh? huh. And now we can stir it in. Woo, 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 woo. 
silly. You are so silly. All right. So stir. There's a clump on the top that doesn't want to get in there. Get in there. Okay. Come on, mix up, buddy. So I'm going to stir this one up. So like I said, basically the beginnings of the first experiment or second experiment, depending on what video you look at. Um, making the blue and red waters. Oh, yeah. Why are you in blue and red water again? We're doing the same thing over again. That's what I was just saying. Except for third empty cup. Oh, we need a third cup now? You don't tell me we need a two plastic cups. Other play or trick. Pour about one third of the blue water and one third of the red water. And blue one looks like an activity too. Now let's do something a little different. Right, I'm going to go clean this cup real quick. It just said, just like an activity too, like mommy. Now, what can, is it saying? Can I rinse this off? Hang on a second and yes, you'll be able to, okay? I need a paper towel, please. From the roll that's in front of you. Why wouldn't that one work? My love, I need a dry paper towel, please. That one is dry. Clean. Clean cup. We were uninformed in the instructions because it only said two cups in the, what you need. Apparently, you actually need three cups. Misprinted. But this is also why you read all the instructions. All right, so we're pouring a third of this. One third. That's about a third. And about a third of this. Okay. So now we have the red, blue, and purple again. Right now. Add two medium scoops of cross-linked chloride. Chloride. The cross-linked chemical. To each of the cups. What do you think might happen? Wait an hour and you'll find out. Six. After about two hours, pour off any extra water that the crystals didn't absorb. Go ahead. There. Oh, hang on. This book is silly. We're not doing the sunset test tube. The instructions we are reading are for the colorful jiggly crystals. So we'll do the sunset test too before. And funny enough, I the one that's saying, read the instructions, read the instructions. I just never turned the page. And this one does say you need the three cups. <laughs> so we will continue with colorful jiggly crystals and then we will do the Aww. test tube sunset later tonight. Jiggly crystals, come on. They're gonna be kind of be like jiggly jelly. <laughs> All right. Wait, we so, have to wait an hour. Yeah, so we'll do this. We'll go hang out and we'll come back. Maybe. There's one other thing that I wanted to do on it. So. Anyways, so we're going to open this stuff now. Let's see if it's a bag and a bag and a bag. It wasn't. Alright, what size scoop do I need? Um, scoop, scoop, scoop. A two medium scoops. To each cup? Yeah. Do we stir them? To every single cup. Do we stir them? Every single cup. 
All right. So everything's down. added to the cups. Now what do we do? Six. After about two hours, pour off any extra water that the crystals yeah. didn't absorb. All right. So yep. Now we're gonna sit here and wait for about an hour and see what happens to these little crystal guys that I put inside these cups. In the meantime, we'll kind of clean up this mess and then we'll come back and do the test tube experiment later. Now that we know that we goofed a little. <laughs> um, uh -huh. I need a, can you go get me a clippy from the fridge? Yes, but I All right, friends, we'll see you in about an hour and give you an update. All right, quick update here. These are the little cups. The little crystals we put in are growing 